Watch it. It'll actually pick up that tripod. <laughs> All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in my backyard with uh, I call it the jungle and I uh, wanted to do a little product review. I've been working with a company called Coffee for quite some time now and uh, previously did a review on this guy right here. This is their K700 tripod. If you do any shooting, uh, then you're probably going to run into a tripod every now and then. This is primarily set up for hunters, uh, but one of the things that they had that I felt would be really neat for the competition world, as well as hunting, was this little guy right here. This is the Kofjager Mag Series. I want you to look at that. Isn't that cool? Now here's the neat thing. This, is go, this goes on a tripod. It does have the 3 8 threads here, and I did a little adapter, and I'll show you that here in a few minutes. But uh, I wanted to show this in its bare, beautiful <laughs> entirety. But here's the thing. Look at that little head right there. This is set up for your M-lock uh, grooves in your handguard. And this is a little ball turret. Now, the cool thing about this is this. Ta -da, that comes completely off. It's got a little round hole. This is steel right here. This is a huge magnet. And there. Now, I, in order to keep this uh, video safe, from the guys over there at YouTube World. I'm not gonna mount this on a gun yet. I will demonstrate this on a firearm and its abilities, but what I'm gonna do real quickly is I'm gonna put this on a handguard and I'm gonna show you. This is one of the coolest little things. And when I saw this, I, yeah, I was like, this is bad to the bone. So essentially what you do is you take this and put it onto your tripod like this, and you go ahead and screw that on. So you have a platform. This is your platform. This is what you're going to be shooting off of. And then this goes on your handguard like that. And you have free range of movement. And I thought it was good. So it comes in a little box like this. All right. And you have an Allen wrench. And basically that's it. So let me read a couple things off of this. I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, dimensions, we're not worried about that. Pan rotation, 360 degrees, right? Vertical rotation angle, 25 degrees up and down. Mounting, that's a 3 8 by 16 inch threaded deal. Uh, aluminum and ABS, uh, but it's steel because it has to be steel, right? And 5.7 ounces. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to mount this little guy right here to the handguard. And it's very simple. You know how an M-lock works, right? So this is easy. So let's go ahead and mount it to the handguard. I'm going to show you the range of movement and how it would work. And for the world over there at YouTube land, this is not mounted on a gun. So yeah, I'm just showing you something really cool from the guys over there at Coach Yuger. Try to spell that without looking at it. <laughs> All right, so I brightened up the camera a little bit. So this is a handguard. This is from the guys over there at Tribe Defense Magnesium. But uh, so anyways, you can see that's what it looks like installed on a handguard. And to show you how powerful that thing is, uh, I'm not sure the weight of this uh, tripod, but it will damn near pick up the tripod on that thing. So the idea is that you have a free range of movement. So when you're setting up the shot, you have that third, I always say three points of contact. If you're shooting any long range distance stuff, you want three points of contact at all time, right? So in any case, if you got a bag underneath here or if, if you're doing anything else, I am actually gonna put this on my three gun competition rifle in between the two ARCA rails. Uh, Cause there, I see the potential for this to work. So let me do something else. I got a, another little deal I wanna show you, but look at that thing. It's strong enough to hold that handguard in there. This is neat. Now you, you can't lock it down. I thought that would be really neat if you could lock it into place. Uh, that was going to increase the cost because this thing only cost $59. But you can put it on any tripod, of course. But I'm going to show you something that I do with this, or I did. I was sitting there in the office the other day. I was like, I have all Arca Rail on all my turret heads for competition. And I want to be able to use this in the world of competition. And I want to be able to switch it out between the bags and everything else. So I'll be right back. I'm going to show this to you. It's a lot of fun. This is a cool thing. And I believe in it, honestly. Uh, and after I've done a little bit more, I'm gonna do a, another review on the K700 tripod on the self. And they've got the Reaper grip that's really, really nice. Uh, it's different from the other one that they had earlier. So it's a little bit more refined, a little better. And uh, we'll do it right here and I'll show it to you tomorrow, okay? So with that, let me go get this other attachment. I'm gonna show you what I did to make this even better, okay? Stand by. 
All right, so a lot of people make fun of me, but what I do when I'm shooting long distance with a pistol, and by God, we have to do it sometimes. I've been shooting 100, 150 yards. I'm not X-ring. A guy can shoot better than anybody, or Oscar, or the Hunan. Uh, yeah, so I do, I shoot off a bag, and not necessarily on this height, but I'll put, I'll put if I can place this tripod out on the stage, then I know that I, all I gotta do is pop, 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 pop. And I like to have a little bag on here. So what I've done, I literally put an arc rail on the bottom of that, and this is just a big old turret head, all right? No brand, but anyway, uh, with that, I can, or I can roll with this thing, I can move it around and do whatever I want with it. All right, so, to kind of streamline things the way I needed them to be, I had a, an arc rail that was laying around with a 3 8 inch attachment or, or a, um, another screw, <laughs> adapter, and that goes right into the bottom of the mag series base and i can tighten this thing up enough i know it's not going to come off and boom then what i need to do is i can come over here pop this in here and the cool thing is is even with the cough jogger the, the k700 i can put a uh arc rail ball turret head on top of it i actually am liking that the thing and then there you go boom but what it is is i can use this as a third platform to go ahead and fire from. I've worked with it with my competition rifle. It does give you a lot of stability. Uh, it's and it's 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 not a big huge bag or it's not a clunky arc rail attachment kind of thing. Do I like it? Yeah, I like it. Uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. If this is something that you'd be interested in, you're not going to be sorry that you bought it for the yeah. So with that, the Kauf Jager mag series website can be found on the uh, campsite below and that'll send you right over there uh but that we always end them like this god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and right down so also don't forget newman's still needing some help his mommy needs some help financially uh and i'll put the link down below for the go fund me so anyway, if you don't know, Newman is my next door neighbor's dog who uh, freaked out on the 4th of July, jumped a wood fence, but on the opposite side of the fence was a chain link fence with the exposed cross sections of the wire sticking straight up. It caught him in the leg. Uh, he panicked. It ripped his leg all to pieces. Uh, it's a beautiful dog and uh, the vet bills are astronomical and she would really be appreciative if you could uh, offer any help. But that, I don't, I don't want to sell it, but uh, I do want her to be able to pay for the damn vet bills. So if any help you can give, that'd be really great. I'm KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. Look at that thing. It's cool. Watch it. It'll actually pick up that tripod. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm out of here.